Hi folks, Irish Trekkie here bringing you my review of issue 6 of Star Trek The Official Starship Collection featuring USS Voyager. So we have our model and we have our magazine. So as per usual we put the model to one side and I'll just give you a little run through of the magazine itself. Okay, so again we're presented with the lovely graphic, uh, very similar to what you would find on the show itself, uh, maybe in the opening sequences. Um, nice kind of level of detail here in the kind of portal windows there it's kind of showing some interior shots which is a nice little touch if i do say so myself did you get focus in there sorry about that okay so we have our standard uh front on tech specs off the ship itself uh, along with the mounting instructions there as well so moving on Okay, so we have our introduction about USS Voyager. So we'll give a uh, background into its origins and its place within the canon of Star Trek and comparisons with other ships as well. Uh, another lovely graphic there again with some uh, interior shots along with the Earth Space Dock there as well. So as per usual, we get some nice um, screen grabs from the series itself, uh, the slingshot uh, slipstream. Um, Again, a nice damage shot there with the escape pods opening up and some nice close-up shots off the shuttle bay along with some interior shots as well and a nice little uh, screen grab off Captain Jane in her ready room uh, with some escape pods on the outside of it as well. Again, nice context, nice interesting read as well. Um, definitely kind of uh, enjoying that side of the subscription. So we have a nice piece here about USS Voyager's Aero Shuttle, which you would, if I can just see there, um, if you're familiar with the ship at all, um, you've never, I don't think, could be wrong now, probably get shot for this, I don't think you've ever seen it in the series, but uh, you have that definite graphic um, moulding that appears on the bottom side of the saucer section, and it shows a nice animation of it uh, detaching and flying away. So it's given its comparisons to the runabout, which you can tell a lot there by the front cockpit, uh, especially with the new kind of wings scenario here. So it's a long range um, shuttle, larger than the normal Type 6 and Type 2 that would be with Voyager as well. And again, twin warp, micro torpedoes, nice looking um, ship, almost like a class in itself. Uh, it would have been cool if it had played more of a part in the series, but again, nice little factoids there for you. So we have our top-down view and our, our side-on view as well, um, highlighting some of the main uh, points of interest along the ship. Sensor array, the impulse drives, the folding um, warp nacelles as well. Again, kind of giving it a more eco-friendly badge, which that disappeared then after. But uh, yeah, nice little graphic, nice high detail level on it as well. So following the trend of the other magazines, we have designing, designing, designing USS Voyager. So we have uh, Rick Sternbach's images here and um, some of his doodles along with some suggestions, which I actually kind of like, um, kind of like a meteor version of Voyager. Um, and then again, some early computer graphics, which are a bit, ooh, I don't know, suggestive. I'm glad they didn't choose those. But yeah, no, I, I like that one. And there's a nice one on the next pages as well, actually. This one, very highly detailed, and again, it gives the anatomy of the ship itself as well. Um, these little fins that come out here are deployable warp field enhancers, which would probably do the same thing as the folding nacelles did in the finished version. But uh, it gives you some nice little insights as into the origin story of Voyager and how it became to be what it is today. So moving on, we have our little piece about filming Voyager as well. So again, following suit from all the other issues, it uh, gives you a little insight there of what was done, the visual effects, the filming of the series as well. And our little on-screen and trivia section, little bits about 7 of 9 and kind of key Voyager moments there as well. And a sneak peek of next issue, issue 7, yeah, issue 7 of the Klingon Battle Cruiser. So that's our magazine short and sweet so I put that to one side and get to the main attraction or a lovely 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 USS Voyager so I'm looking forward to this Um, it's kind of like I was saying in the earlier um, reviews there we had our big D class 
um, D class, Galaxy class Enterprise D, which would be one of the bigger ships that uh, has been modeled so far. And then you have your small scale Enterprise NX01, which showed a lot more uh, detail. So this is our kind of in between sizes. Um, it's classed at uh, almost 1300 feet there, thereabouts. So um, big, but not big in comparison to some of the other ships. So let's get at this and we see what we could do. So we put that to one side. Get rid of you. I'm also nervous taking that. Out. Ah, heavy. And our little display stands. Rubbish, rubbish, rubbish. Okay. I'll just take this out quickly. Voila. Okay. So we have our stands done. And we have our model of Voyager. So let me get a close up focus shot if I can. So there is Voyager in all her glory. It's very front heavy. There's a lot of the die cast in the front. I can definitely feel the plastic, especially on the um, nacelles here. Nice level of detail, I must admit. Um, let's see how close I can get in here without it losing focus. Okay, there we go. So our decals are nicely placed. Now, the series didn't have much Azteking on the model at all, so I can't really fault it for that. Um, definition? It's okay. It's not fantastic. It's it's nice. Um, you have your phaser array there, little um, navigation lights. You have your auxiliary deflector bridge. It is it is, it is nice. I'm only kind of nitpicking. Um, I just thought it may be more defined along the body of it as well. So let's just have a look at the underneath. See, it's more detail on the underneath than there is on the top. Like it's unusual. Let me just get a profile. There we go. Hope you can make that out. So again, we have our underneath decals. Yeah, it's more interesting. Here's our aero shuttle. If I can get a shot. There we go. Beautiful. <laughs> I, hope you, I hope you do like my videos. I must admit I'm new enough to this. <laughs> um, and if I can get a shot of her rear. I beg your pardon. So shuttle bay. Yeah, it's nice. Uh, there's really, there isn't, I don't see any issues with this model. And no dings or scratches, so I'm very happy with that. Slight, slight separation on the auxiliary, but uh, sure. We're all friends, we're not going to lose sleep over that area. Okay, so yeah, that's cool. I like it. It's nice. It's it's a lovely looking ship, isn't it? Um I don't know, I'm just I'm just used to it. I don't know whether bigger nacelles would have been nicer. Um if I can focus, there we go. If bigger bigger nacelles would have been nicer on the model. I just love that saucer section and the way the drive engineer and hull meets it. There's no kind of great nick on it. It's just a fast looking ship. Again, in the series, it had warp 9.975 sustainable for 12 hours, which got it out of a few hairy moments. A very maneuverable ship in comparison to her bigger cousins. So let's just see how it sits on the stand. So we should have a nice kind of flight style. Yeah, that's cool. I love the angle of attack on that. That's pretty cool. Just to kind of show you what the angle is on that. Yeah, you had that kind of lift off kind of effect. Similar to what you found on the cover. So if I had the camera underneath, if I can just or orientate it. So if that's flat. So you're looking f straight up into the uh, main deflector dish. Yeah. I like it. I like it a lot. So yeah, and um, just to kind of show you a comparison, let me just see which one. If I show you the NX01 in comparison, I hope you don't fall. Let me just reach over here. Oh. Here's one I made earlier. So there's our lovely NX01. Our brothers in arms, our sisters, however you like to call it. I call them. They're girls. Yeah, ships are lovely ladies. So that's our two lovely spaceships, uh, Voyager and NX-01. So that pretty much wraps up uh, this review of issue six of Star Trek, the Starships Collection of Voyager issue. Um, please join me next time for the Klingon Battle Cruiser. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.